Hey guys, it's AVG back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing WWE Conspiracy Theories Episode 8. Vince McMahon was the genius behind ECW. There was an accusation in the 90s that Vince McMahon was funding ECW as a WWF developmental territory. Sort of like what happens with NXT right now. Fans pointed to the fact that ECW wrestlers were appearing on WWF TV and Monday Night Raw was actively helping to promote ECW shows. Plus, you had guys like Mick Foley and ECW who then went on to be to big spots in the WWF. It really did look like Vince had some sort of underlying interest in ECW. The rumor bugged Paul Heyman something rotten. People kept saying Vince was not only funding ECW but implementing some of the creative as well. The truth behind it? Heyman talked about this candidly on last year's Ladies and Gentlemen My Name is Paul Heyman DVD. There was no greater supporter of ECW than Vince McMahon. Heyman states, I think Vince thought we were good for the industry. We were a shop for the industry. The accusation always was that I was on the WWE payroll. It wasn't true, Heyman states. I was never paid by WWE. You were never paid by WWE one day in your life. Okay. Okay. I know, it's a joke. However, ECW did receive $1,000 a month based upon the WWF signing to Colt Scorpio. Heyman lost out on advertising revenue linked to Scorpio, so Vince McMahon offset it. As for creative influence in ECW, everyone from ECW producer Rob Buffon to Stephanie McMahon has noted that Vince and Paul would speak on the phone regularly. A bit of creative advice probably flowed in both directions. So, apparently Paul Heyman hasn't been paid by the WWE a day in his life, yet he's working for the WWE right now, and he worked for the WWE in around 2003, 2004, and a bit after that. And... I honestly believe that they had nothing to do with each other. They just were huge supporters of one another. Like Vince was a huge supporter of WWF. And that's it for today, guys. As always, AVG, same peace.